So I've been flying my ZMR250 quad, mini quad, from goodluckbuy.com with these ZMR2, uh, well, ZMR1804 2400kV motors on 5x3 props. 12 amp Emacs Simon series ESCs, also from banggood.com. And the motors and ESCs were, I think, 10 and $9 respectively. Um, so far, I haven't had any problems with these ESCs, but I mentioned early in a previous video that I do a review on this motor, um, uh, actually um, a thrust test. So I have it hooked up to my scale, and I'm going to run it up at 50% and 100% to see what kind of thrust we get on the Gemfan 5x3 props and some three-bladed 5x3 props as well. Just mention a few things about these motors. They come in clockwise and counterclockwise, meaning for this hub, the propeller hub that holds the prop on, this nut, um, it can either screw on clockwise or counterclockwise. So if you're running a quad, you'd need two counterclockwise and two clockwise, just so that the because these spin at such high speeds, these uh, prop nuts don't come off. I ordered all clockwise, um, just so that I had interchangeability of the parts and um, all I do is I throw a little Loctite on it and I haven't had any problems with it at all. So the quality so far of these motors, I ordered five and one of them, four of them were fine, one of them were not. What happened was it was a grinding, it was th this uh, armature, the armature on the inside was grinding against the magnets I believe because when I was spinning this it would make a uh, kind of a, you could just hear it just rubbing. And what it was, I took it apart and these magnets were loose. And actually five of the magnets were loose. They all popped right out. Now I have them glued back in. I used some five minute epoxy and I just see now they're all nice and solid. So the quality is the, the quality or the quality control of these motors don't, doesn't seem that to be that great. Now, this runs nice and smooth now, so just be careful of that when you order them. So let's, uh, let's stick it on the bench and fire it up and see what kind of numbers we get. I just wanted to mention quickly uh, a couple other little things about this motor before we do the thrust test. This, um, the shaft here where the prop actually goes onto the motor is 5 millimeter, which is exactly the same size as these gem fan uh, hubs. Um, the shaft itself on the inside is 2 millimeter, so it's kind of it's kind of flimsy, but uh, who knows? We'll see. They are small motors. I'm not sure what size they are for the Sunny Skies or the Tiger motors, but this one here is 2 millimeter. Um, right here where the wires, the, the three wires come out of the motor. Um, I would probably put some epoxy on here so to keep these from fatiguing over time. They'll probably break because they're very thin wires just from the vibration when you're flying and stuff that could be a weak point. So, okay, I'm just gonna grab my, my transmitter and then we'll get started with the thrust test. I have the, um, the amp meter hooked up to it. So we'll be able to check the max amps drawn at 50% and 100% along with the thrust. Okay, we'll get started. Alright, 50% throttle. We'll zero out our scale. So that was 155 grams of thrust, drawing 2 amps. Now we'll do full throttle. That was 330 grams of thrust at a maximum draw of 5.5 amps. 
So next we're going to do the three three bladed propeller. So I'll get that mounted up and I'll be back. All right, we have the three inch, or I should say, three bladed propeller, gem fan propeller mounted, five by three inch prop, um, amp meter hooked up, batteries plugged in, first test, 50%. So 158 grams of thrust, drawing 2.1 amps. Next, full throttle. Around 308 grams of thrust, drawing 5.3 amps of current. So that was the quick, uh, quick and dirty prop test, prop and motor test for the ZMR 1801 2400KV motor from, uh, I got mine from banggood.com on the Simon, running with this 12 amp Simon series Emacs ESCs. Uh, so far this combination seems to be working well. As I mentioned previously earlier in the video, the quality of these motors are not mm, I would say not bad um, for the price, but you might just have to do some fixing on them or you might get some duds. So anyways, um, thanks for watching and hopefully this helped out anyone trying to make a decision on these motors. Uh, thanks for watching.